The harsh environment of Mbera refugee camp in Mauritania might look inhospitable, but it represents one of the few alternatives for civilians fleeing the ongoing conflict in northern and central Mali. Located in the far southeast of Mauritania, it is 60 kilometers away from the border. In six years, it has grown to host 55,000 refugees. Entries have decreased, but never stopped. In 2018, there were almost 6,000 newcomers. They attack people on the road, they take everything, and then they kill them. I lost many neighbors in this way in my village. I've been attacked too. This is why I came. We met Omar and his family of seven at the UNHCR registration center. There are on average 20 families like this one, arriving every week. Their biometric and personal data are the first step to obtaining the asylum status and humanitarian support. UNHCR managing the camp denounces the lack of awareness about this refugee crisis. We are simply not receiving the, 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 the funds that we need. In UNHCR uh, Mauritania, we had 15% of the needs covered uh, for 2018. WFP had 5% of their needs for the general food distribution of the month of December covered. 5%. That simply means we cannot feed the people who are here. This is the reception center. There is shade, water and the minimum to survive. UNHCR distributed over 2,600 shelter kits in 2018, but thousands of families are still waiting. In the meantime, they make do with what they have. Families sometimes are stranded here for months before being able to gather what they need to build their new homes. I will stay here for four days and build the tent with the help of my cousin, who is here as well. The conflict in Mali is attracting all the attention, while the burden carried by neighboring countries to assist Malian refugees is going barely noticed. This is the warning launched by UNHCR, while thousands of refugees here in Mauritania have started the new year with no food security and no shelter. Monica Pina, Euronews, Basikonu. Well, Monica is back from uh, Mauritania. She's in the studio with me now. Morning to you, Monica. Uh, we heard a little bit about it in, in your report there, but just give us a bit more depth on what is driving Malians out of the country. Well, uh, for sure, uh, the insecurity and the terrorist uh, attacks that are still happening in Mali are pushing all these people to flee. So, as we said, 135,000 uh, refugees in uh, the neighboring countries and uh, we uh, know that attacks by armed groups are increasing, have increased since uh, 2016 uh, by official reports, but uh, for the media it's really difficult to assess what's actually happening there because this area is uh, basically off limits for journalists, especially after two French journalists were killed in 2013. So how has everything uh, started? It was in 2012 uh, when some insurgent groups started to uh, fight a campaign against the Malian government to ask for the independence of uh, an area in uh, northern Mali that is uh, that they called uh, Azawad. So we have the national movement for the liberation of Azawad that started fighting to make this area of Mali independent for the Tuareg people. Then we had the in intervention of the French soldiers and then in uh, 2013 uh, the first uh, uh, truce peace deal that didn't work, then a second one in 2015 that actually officially put an end to the conflict. But as we said, terrorist attacks are still happening. All right, well,